Hi, I'm Eric Todd, Director of Visitor Experience at the Indiana State Museum. Thanks for booking a field trip to come see us. We're excited to welcome you for a great visit. And I'm Ryan Mullins. I'll be your gallery host today. We're excited for you to visit the museum, but before you do, we'd like to give you a few tips, tricks, and maybe even a few secrets to make your visit as awesome as possible. When you arrive at the museum, you'll be greeted by one of our friendly museum staff members. We'll grab your lunches off the bus and let your driver know where to go. Then we can head inside. We'll lead your group to the lower level where your teacher can get your group checked in at the ticket counter. Once you've checked in, this is where you'll meet with your teachers and chaperones to get your visit started. Thanks. If you're seeing an IMAX movie, there will be a sign at the obelisk with your school's name on it. Make sure when it's time for the movie, you check back in at this sign. While you're here, be sure to check out the Indiana obelisk. Each letter in Indiana measures six feet in height, and when you add the base, this sculpture is 49 feet tall. As you start your adventure, there are a few places that will be helpful to know. There are restrooms located on every floor, including a large restroom behind the ticket counter. If you're eating in our school lunchroom, it's located just off the Great Hall, across from the Indiana store. If you need to buy a lunch or a snack, the Farmer's Market Cafe is located just upstairs on the second floor. And if it's a nice day out, feel free to take your lunch out and eat on the canal. Just let us know your plan and we'll be ready for you. Also be sure to check out the Indiana store, located on the first floor, just between the school lunchroom and the IMAX theater. All right, now we're ready to start exploring the museum. With three levels of galleries and thousands of artifacts on display, it can be a little tricky to navigate. And remember, food and drinks are not allowed in the galleries. The lower level is home to our natural history galleries. Here you'll find information on how Indiana was formed and everything that's lived here since then. Look for the Omniglobe, the Naturalist Lab, and giant fossil skeletons. And as cool as they are, be sure not to touch the artifacts that are on display. You can, however, use our hands-on items like this mastodon tooth. Wow. Check that out. Pretty cool. One thing you'll be able to see from all three levels of the museum is the Foucault pendulum. Hey, Eric, you gotta see this! It is pretty exciting, but remember, respect the other museum guests by trying not to yell or run while you're in the galleries. You can, however, yell as much as you want when the pendulum knocks down one of the pegs. If you have any questions, our staff is always here to help. Find someone wearing a blue Indiana State Museum shirt and they'll be sure to help you in any way they can. The second level is where you'll find our cultural history galleries. Everything you need to know about the people of Indiana, their lifestyles, and the impact Hoosiers have made around the world. Check out the cars and tractors, see Civil War weapons, and travel through decades of Hoosier life. The third floor is home to our changing galleries. Check out our website to find out what's happening during your visit. And don't forget to check out the view from our Whipple Trust Bridge. And take as many pictures as you like so you can remember your visit, but please turn off your flash. When you're ready to head back to school, you can come right back out here where the buses dropped you off in the morning. Oh man, I can't believe the field trip's over already. Well, Ryan, our trip's done for today, but these guys haven't even been here yet. Yeah, that's right. You guys are gonna have such a great time. We'll see you soon.